it's time. Time to pack up the XRS instrument and ship it to Japan to be assembled onto the Astro E2 spacecraft. The, the key point here is to not break anything. We've gotten to the point where we have no time left. We've got to get it uh, in there and over to Japan in the next couple of days. We don't have time for any mistakes. Everybody's working very hard to get this thing ready to go and out the door in time. We have to keep the instrument cold during transport, and so we have something like 450 pounds of dry ice that they're going to put in this thing. Dry ice is uh, frozen carbon dioxide. It's a lot colder than regular ice, but the key thing is it doesn't melt. It just turns back into uh, CO2 gas. Uh, and then we'll scoop most of it out at the other end because that's actually enough to last a lot longer than we think we'll need. Again, putting in lots of margin so that if, even if things go wrong or something goes funny, we got plenty. The telescopes and XRS instrument go to Japan. But their story doesn't end here. In Japan, the instruments are assembled into the Astro E2 spacecraft, where everything is rigorously tested again.